is a video where I'm going to give a brief showcase of my uh, new bus I've designed, which is the uh, Alexander Dennis 56 seat double decker. Right, I'm going to start off with a brief tour of the exterior. You've got front and mid door, this is the front of the bus, pog number plate, because why not? The headlights, second floor, there's the mid door. Opens on that. We've also got the um, charging the uh, electric batteries because it's a hybrid. With the indicator lights, they run the whole length of the bus. So um, yeah, you've just got fluid ports, a little bit of decoration. Uh, at the back, these are just lights that come on no matter what. You've got the uh, spotlights for reversing and uh, brake lights written in there. You've also got advert space there, and once again, pog. It's the exhaust for the um, petrol engine or diesel. Around here you've got the um, fluid hose for filling up the diesel tank. You've got another advert space. You can fill that with all the bads but it would be a bit laggy with all the paint blocks. Got the wheels and then um, there you've got the mirrors up there which do actually work. And then yeah, the background. Right, first I'm going to uh, refill the bus. Oh, great. Diesel pump there. Go around all the way around. And then that's what you do. Because obviously it depends which side you park up on. But uh parked on this side so I have to fill it there. And you can see the fluid going in. And yeah, that should be enough just for now, so get rid of that. But yeah, then I'll go to the um driver's cab, just over in the front door there. Hop in. The fire extinguisher behind the cab. And there. Hop in here, you've got the um, handbrake there, but we keep that on. Monitors, that's the main HUD with all the uh, speedo and the uh, tachometer. It's got low fuel warning, that's because uh, if you look to where the fuel is, they're in the red. And that, that's the engine temperature, that one's the battery, miles per hour, revs, distance. That's the key to start the engine. This is for the um, hybrid electrics. That's fuel consumption. So you know um, what, how much you use in an hour, a minute, second, and then how much per hundred mile. Um, you got heat headlights, heaters, interior lights, all there. That's the main power switch for the um, electric boost. Up here you've got a radio, change channel, push to talk, and. Uh, Tells you if you're receiving or transmitting. Um, yeah, interior. Right, so probably show off the headlights first. You've got headlights there, illuminates the front of the bus, and then at the back you got can't see it. It's red, uh, red headlights for when you're reversing. Also notice um, indicators. Got on the left, flashes the whole length of the bus. Indicators there. And then set the right, obviously. But, um, another thing would be the uh, eaters. They're located uh, throughout the bus, just to keep it warm if you're in somewhere cold, like the Arctic or if you're at night. Also got, uh, what was it? Turn the headlights off. I don't really need them. So we've got the interior lights that run the length of the bus, both decks, just to provide it a bit of night if it's dark. But, um, yeah, also got uh, these mirrors which use cameras to the back of the vehicle so you can see behind you, which is useful when you're reversing. And that's about it for the inside. Probably uh, give a quick tour. You've got three seats here, they're all numbered and uh, numbered like that, so you can use the uh, Storm Link. But yeah, they run here, you've got four rest against seats, probably fold up ones would be on a regular bus and then it just goes all the way back in these steps if you um, if I turn the interior lights on you see the light up there turn that off for you it gets a bit laggy with the lights but uh, yeah these are all the seats Come up here 27 on the bottom floor and then uh, Go up the top, go up the staircase, go up a whole load more seats. 
seats there. Just goes all the way back. And there's a total of 56. So, uh, plenty of capacity for passenger transport on Stormlink. But yeah, this is the um, middle door. Opens like that. Got a little uh, step, or a ramp. So you can go there. This is probably a disabled parking thing for the chair would be. But yeah, nice big windows. Get good view. Yeah. Right. Oh, and all important parts. Yeah, I should probably get started. So take off the handbrake, obviously. And then uh, you can either. Well, there's two ways to do it. You can run all electric. So all you'd have to do is just turn that on. Press W. You go. S is the brake. Uh, AD left right. Three is for hazards. And um, indicators are with left and right arrows. Uh, here you could just go all electric, which uh, runs off the battery. It only goes to 41 miles per hour when you're running on only electric. That light just tells you that the uh, electric's on. And uh, the battery boost it tells you uh, how much battery is left, and that's the consumption of the battery. Alternatively, you could just uh, turn off the electric and start the uh, diesel engine. Which is a six speed automatic gearbox, so uh, plenty of power. Eight cylinder engine, turbocharged, so that's another way of powering the bus. That's uh, quite a bit slower than the electric, but hopefully you can go higher than 40 miles per hour. And that's, yeah, that tells you the distance, how far the bus has gone. You see the engine temperature climbing there. The fuel pretty low. So we're using a uh, 0.1 litres per second. Probably nearly out of fuel. 60 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. 774 litres a mile, well, for 100 miles. So, I don't know if that's any good or not, but it has a 450 litre tank, so you should be able to get a fair distance. If not, your rules will be electric. But, um, yeah, I'll go around this corner and then I'll use both uh, because obviously it's hybrid, you can have both power methods. And if I go just follow for a stop here and then hit the electric, use both methods, you can see the acceleration is really good. You'll get 50, 60, 70, then I'm at 80 and I've done what, less than half of them, 86, 87. Out to 89 feet. Oh, yeah. Turn that off. Because uh, whenever you use the electric engines what, combined with the petrol, there's a lot of wheel spin for whatever reason. So, right, I'm going to pull up here and uh, do a brief passenger run. for soil and try for halt. So um I'll probably just do halt but P cap you know, 56 56 passengers and then uh P load halt there we go and then, yeah we now got five passengers on board which is quite neat and then uh off with the handbrake and off we go to halt there's no way to recharge the boost battery using the engine. The only way to uh, fill it up again is by an electrical cable. So you'd have to connect it to uh, some other vehicle that has a uh, power to share. And then, um, yeah, just recharge the batteries. There's 10 medium batteries underneath the bus. She used to drive the uh, six electric motors. Yeah, in conjunction with the uh, petrol engine, you can achieve good acceleration at high speeds. There's one issue with the bus which is uh, due to its nature of being a double decker, there's a tendency to tip over on uh, tight turns at high speeds or any changes in terrain. I've tried to make the uh, map, the central mass as low as possible but not, there's only so much you can do at all. You'd just be adding weight and it hinder the performance. Is it can handle quite a turn without tipping, it's just uh, 
due to hit a bump or something. Yeah, there is a slight chance you might flip over. You know, even smaller chance that you might land on your wheels again. Or maybe not. Oh, and a tip. Ooh, no. That's it done for. <laughs> well, there's nothing I can do. It's, it's gone. Lost cause. I still get out. Oh, it's broken the door. Right. <laughs> A brilliant way to end. I mean, 